hi guys welcome back to my channel let's make this delicious granite soup with rice fufu which is rice swallow together you can see how soft the rice swallow is so let me show you how i made mine welcome back guys here is my roasted granite you can use raw granite all you need to do is to roast it and get rid of the back so my own is already roasted but i'll still roast it with this calabash nutmeg and oziza seed that is my oziza seed so here is the protein i'm going to use goat meat beef dry fish and stock fish so it's time for me to roast this granite with my oziza seed and calabash nutmeg i'll roast them together when you roast these three ingredients it take your soup to the next level i love the aroma don't let it burn just roast it you can see the color have changed i'm done I will allow that to cool down before blending it. The next thing is to spice my protein. That is maggi seasoning, salt. Then I will mix it and cover it to boil on its own juice before adding in any water. So you can see the juice that come out of the meat so i'll now add water now i'll add enough water that can cook the meat till tender then i'll add in onions i'll add in grounded chili pepper Then I'll cover it and allow it to cook. Here my granite is well cooled. I can blend it now. So I'll be using my grinder to blend the granite. And here we are. It is well blended. I didn't blend it to be very smooth because I don't want it to be totally paste. So I'll add in my fish to my protein because the meat is well soft. I'll add my dry fish and my stock fish. Mix them together then cover it for the fish to, to soak in the spice that I use for the meat. I'll cover it to boil. So it's time for us to make our soup. So I'll be adding in pepper and crayfish. I grated my pepper and crayfish together. So I'll add enough water that will cook my soup. I'll allow it to boil a little bit before adding in the peanut butter, which is the granite paste. So here it is. I'll be adding it now. Then I'll add a little bit of palm oil. I will not add much because we all know peanut brings out oil, so it doesn't need too much red oil. I add a little bit, then I'll cover it and allow it to cook very well. If you have watched to this extent, kindly hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification to get notified whenever I post a new one. And kindly share my video, please. Kindly share my video.
reach a larger audience. I'll be adding in my vegetable. I use Oziza leaf and bitter leaf. And to our returning subscriber, I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. God bless you for your support and always being there to watch my video. Please support me by sharing my video to your family and friends. To our new subscriber, you are welcome. Please, if you have been watching my video and you have not subscribed, I am begging you, please subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Subscription is free. Support me so that I'll be able to make more content. Please support this channel. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. God bless you all. So back to our soup. I've mixed all the vegetable inside. I used two vegetables, which is Oziza leaf and bitter leaf. Then I cover it to cook more. You can see the oil on top. See how colorful it is. This soup is so delicious. I love it so much. Try it and let me get your feedback. So I'll be making my rice fufu. This is the rice I'm going to use, Nigerian rice. I'll soak it overnight. So this is the next day. It's very soft now. I'll blend it. You have to add water so that it can blend easily with your blender. After blending, I'll add it in my pot. My pot is empty. I didn't add any water. And I make the rice watery because I don't want it to get thick easily. I want it to stay a little long on fire before getting thick. So that it can done very well so i make my paste very light and not that thick so you have to be turning it so that it will not have lumps i know it's tiring but the results worth all the work continue to turn can see it's getting a little bit thicker you see it's coming together now I try to show all the process so that you can see it if this video is too long I'm sorry I try to show all the process so that you can get it right So I'll scrape this side and my turning stick, then add in warm water. Then I'll cover it and allow it to cook for 5 to 7 minutes before turning it again. So after 7 minutes, you can see that the color has changed. It's not more that very pure white. That shows it's well cooked. So I'll continue to turn it until everything comes together, fluffy and in a dough form you can see, it's stretchy and fluffy. I love this swallow and it goes well with this granite soup. You are going to be trying this let me know in the comment section and please i really want your feedback on this you see how it is so it's as easy as that i'm done with the rice swallow guys subscription is free subscribe to my channel subscribe please so i'll be dishing out the soup i bet you this soup is so delicious so yummy you can see 
how well presented they all come out. So here is mine. Come and join me. Enjoy with me. This is to my subscriber and to those that have not subscribed, at least after eating this, you subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. Thank you for always being there. See you all in my next one. Bye.